Joey Gallo is more than okay. When he connects, it's a thing of beauty. Is it a case, Tom, I'm so curious, is it a case of adjustments he's made over the years? When you watch Joey Gallo at the plate, how is he different now than in the past? Well, I think for me, there's a couple things. I think he's, he's into his legs. I think he's slowing down. And his head, to me, looks a little more quiet. But at the end of the day, I also think the environment in Minnesota, playing there, I, I've been there, you know, starting the season off and getting some hits, I think goes a long way at the end of the day. All right, take a look at this before we dive in on the fundamentals of what he's doing at the plate. With Texas, New York, Dodgers, those are big markets, right? Try to do too much, hitting a dollar sixty on base. Something's clicked. Something's clicked this year. I think it's a perfect opportunity. There's some relationship with Dad Levine. He had him in Texas. Now he's in Minnesota with Derek Falvey there. Look at the slugging percentage. So take it, do your thing. I love so, when you're here. So yeah, so for me, when we do these demos, right? Like you always look, okay, he's off to a good start or he's not doing well. Like in Texas, oh. it's like this guy for me, let's start out by saying he's dangerous. He's outhouse or castle. He, he's, Liz, he's, listen, he's, not, he's a, not carrying you for a 162. Yes, yes. I And then here in New York, as any big hitter does, you get chasing a little bit. That, that happens in the game. By the way, and you know this, Nero, pitchers are pretty good today. But what I do love about this guy, every time he goes to home plate, he has a chance to do damage. Yeah. Watch, watch how he's into his back leg for me. I think once you're grounded from the back side and you're not diving out forward, yes. rushing hard, like the, to me, he's slowing it down. You see, he's over here in Minnesota, he goes back. Every hitter makes the negative move. And again, we can dissect this. It's really not a whole lot different, but what I do like here is that he's, he seems to be a little more touch into his back leg as we go here in New York you could tell he's a little more upright but let's just keep running this because for me his stride is his stride he's got a leg kick that is a little bit high and at the end Look of the day if he, if he gets this down if on that get, back if he gets that down then you know what if a ball's in the zone for him to hit he's going to do damage because of who he is run that back for me real quick because this is the subtle difference watch him come off this back leg a smidge more than yes. him on this side. What I mean by that, it's subtle. It's here, once I get, once this goes here, we're in trouble. You can keep your hands back and fight, but if you're able to hit off this back leg, this, yes, run this, watch him start leaking. He's starting to leak. Boom, he's gone, right? He's, he's still into he's this. He's still into that yes. back leg's engaged right there. That's tough. Mm. All right, I want you to, to we, we, we don't get a chance to get you here enough. You knocked the donut off the bat. Jim Tomey's coming to the plate. What were you thinking? Your son's 14 years old, yeah. starting varsity as a freshman. What are you telling him? Give it him starts on deck. It starts on deck. When I walk to home plate, in your mind, you're the man at Number the end one. of the day. Number one, the mentality when we leave the on-deck circle, I'm there. If I stare out at a pitcher and he suddenly looks down, I know I got him at the end of the day. That was the feeling <laughs> was I had one. when I walked to home plate. I just, I wanted to bring confidence. I want to do, and I try to do that with my son. Any young hitter is instill confidence in them. And then I wanted to get plate coverage. I wanted to make sure that my where I stood in the box, where I stood at home plate, plate coverage was huge. Did you move around the box at all? I would move, or I would move north and south, but not off. Now, yeah. as I aged, yes, I moved off a little bit. But this ball, you see the youth level, you see the high school level, you see the minor league and big league level. This ball out here gets called. You have. I see so many guys being froze on that pitch yeah. because it looks farther away to them than it really is. And that goes back he to- He could run into that at times. No, he can, he can drift off a little bit. The other day, 
the other day you did a great piece on Alvarez. Yes. And how he coils in, okay? This how and this I think we did. We didn't finish the piece, but there is a there is Finish a, it. Finish yeah, it. Yeah, so Keep going. watch watch how he coils in right there. Right there. That right there for me is huge how he's you can't coil too much, but for this guy covering the ball out over the plate is big. And I think I think look, playing in Minnesota, I'll get back to that. He's comfortable. The new rule with the shift. Yeah. I think in his mind, he feels like he can get hits. And he's getting hits right now, and he's into his leg. And he's got Correa and Buxton to take all the pressure off him. Swing he's, decisions last two years, plate appearances. I mean, sure, small sample size in 23, but like get in his zone. Know what you want to do, whip percent, everything's better. I mean, Case first percentage. pitch swing, yes. Yeah, he's, when you come up and you have a chance to do damage, that's that's at the end of the day, that's what every club wants. And he, he can put up, he can get hot very quickly. What would be your what, your drills or, or something you would tell Joey Gallo when he does, because he's going to go bad at some point, they all do. Okay, flat foot, keep both heels on the ground, do soft toss, do Get soft in. toss and do flat foot. You know, when you start out side flip, boom. Both heels on the ground, boom. And then what that does now, now as we get into say front toss or even side flips, there is gonna be some rotation at yeah. the end, there is. But to start out, get into your back heel. Get in, and I, th I believe that's why d -Row, I had so many back problems later in my career as I aged was because I try, I kept my back heel and I think it put a lot of torque on my back. Really? But, but I also think when you keep your heel on the ground, you stay from the ball in the middle of the plate to away, it keeps you on that. Keeps you back. And I'll get a little like, you know, little deep here is your inner adductor. Yeah, your yeah, inner yeah. adductor stays. And the old saying in youth baseball, don't squish the bug. Don't rotate early. If you're, if you make this subtle move and then on contact, it yes. will roll.